welcome to everybody from St Mary's Church, Haversham. Well, it's spring and very nearly Easter. When I look outside, I can see loads of daffodils. I love daffodils. So I thought it would be good fun for me to show you how to make a pot of daffodils that you could use to decorate your house this Easter. I'm going to give you ideas, but you can be as creative as you want to be. First of all, you need a pot to put your daffodils in. I've got a collection of things that you could use around from around the house. Bottles, uh, I've cut off a bottle there, it was a milk, an old milk bottle, an old flower pot, a yoghurt pot, and another juice bottle that I've already cut. I've decided that I'm going to use this bottle. Now, the first thing that you have to do is cut this bottle down. When you're cutting a bottle, you will need a grown-up to do this because it's quite sharp and um, even the plastic can be very sharp and it's quite tricky. So you just need to cut the top off your bottle, like so. You may need just to tidy it up a bit. For an easy decoration, I've just found a bit of material that I actually had already around the house and I started to fray it just so that it looks a bit prettier. Easy, easy to fray. You just take the threads off each side. When you think it's frayed enough, you just cut a piece large enough to go around your bottle. I've used some double-sided tape, but you could use glue. And you just literally place it around your bottle where you want it to be. And I'm just going to stick it like so. To make it prettier, I happen to have a bit of ribbon. You might have some ribbon or things just to make the bottle a bit prettier. And I'm going to tie that around the outside of the material. And just make it into a bow. And already I have a vase. Now, if you don't have any material, to decorate your vase. Another really good way of doing it is to use torn up pieces of magazine, anything, newspaper, anything that you've got around the house. Take a pot, any pot that you want to use, and some glue, and just cover the pot with glue. Take your pieces of newspaper or magazine, whatever you want to use, and just stick them on, a bit like a mosaic. This takes a little bit more time, but it's very effective. And you'll need to continue until the whole pot is covered. Now, I've got a smaller pot here that I've already covered in paper and left to dry. You can leave it like this, which looks really good fun or if you want it to look even more shiny what you can do is then just take your glue and cover it again all over with glue. Make sure every bit is covered. It doesn't look good at the beginning but believe me when it dries it has a really pretty effect. I've got a finished yoghurt pot here that I've already covered with glue and it's dried and as you can see it makes it really shiny. Here's the example of the two pots that I've finished. You might even have better ideas. Now it's time to actually make the daffodils. I've been collecting for a long time empty egg boxes. Now the first thing you do is you cut off the lid. We don't need the lid, so I can put that to one side, but we do need the cups. So the first thing we need to do is actually cut off these bits that are pointing upwards, as carefully as you can, because you will need these. Put these to one side, because these are going to be the trumpets of the daffodils. Now we need to cut out the cups. Again, you may need a little bit of help with this because it can be a bit tricky. There we go. Now that will look something like this. 
All we need to do now is to make four petals so we can cut down the center here and then here. They don't have to be equal. And then just make the petals a bit rounder. So I've cut out the cup, just curved the outside so they look more like a petal. Made little slits so that we've got four petals. When we put the trumpet inside, you can see we've already got the shape of a daffodil. Now for the fun part, the painting. Now daffodils are lots of different colours. You can have yellow daffodils and yellow trumpets. You can have white daffodils and orange trumpets, or you can have yellow daffodils and orange trumpets. So you can paint them however you want to. Um, if you don't have paints, felt tips would work just as well. I think I'm going to paint mine yellow with um, yellow petals with orange trumpets. So I've got some yellow paint here already. And we have to leave them to dry. Okay. Now I'll have some that are already dry, the petals and the trumpet. Now it's time to glue the trumpet inside the petal. So and you'll need to hold it down. Once you have your completed flower that has been painted and dried, you're going to need a grown-up to help you with this bit because you're going to need to put a hole in the back. Finally, you're going to need to put the stems into the back of the flowers. Now that's the only thing that I've bought. I bought some green straws, but you can use whatever you have, even sticks in the garden. So be as creative as you want to be with that. Take whatever you've decided to use for the stem and you poke it right into the hole in your flower so that it goes in quite firmly, like so. Once your stem is into the flower, I'm going to bend mine a bit so that it looks a bit more like a daffodil and then it's finished. There's your completed daffodil. And here we go, here's the completed pot of daffodils that I think will brighten up any home this Easter. Why do Christians celebrate Easter? Let's listen to Grace tell us the Easter story. Jesus was sad because soldiers came to take him away. The priest asked Jesus if he was God's son. Jesus said, I am. This made people very angry. They took Jesus to Pilate. Pilate said, put him on a cross to die. Soldiers put Jesus on a cross and his friends were very sad. Jesus died on the cross and his friends put him in a special cave. The cave had a big stone in front of it. On Sunday morning, two women came to the cave. The cave was empty. Inside the cave, they saw an angel and he told them that Jesus was alive. Lord of Jesus' friends saw him alive and they were really happy. Let's talk to Jesus and thank him for Easter. Dear Lord Jesus, it, it has been a very difficult time for many of us this year, but when we look around, we have so many things to thank you for. Thank you for the Easter story. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you died and you came alive again so that we can be special friends with you. You did this because you love each one of us so much. Thank you. Amen. Everyone at St Mary's Church in Haversham wishes you all a very happy Easter. Mm -hmm.